Hi everybody, I'm Leonard Murphy. I am the CEO of BrandScan 360. Uh, we are a new uh, new startup utilizing uh, emerging technologies around uh, mobile and social gaming to do data collection. And we're going to talk about uh, mobile social games for market research. Bear with me, there's some latency here. First, let's talk about the mobile ecosystem. Uh, I don't think anybody's going to be surprised that smartphone penetration and projections are uh, fairly astronomical. I've seen numbers uh, from other sources that say within the next five years, pretty much everybody in the whole world will be utilizing a uh, smartphone device. Uh, I certainly think that we are past the tipping point in terms of uh, smartphones being the, the preferred method uh, of how people engage. My apologies, I hit the wrong key. Let's go back. Uh, when we're dealing with the uh, smartphone ecosystem, we're actually looking at several different platforms. Most people think about the iPhone, uh, but of course the Android uh, system put up by Google is, uh, is quickly catching up. Uh, and they're still ran by BlackBerry and the, uh, the Windows Phone. Uh, from a penetration standpoint, uh, Apple is still the one to beat, uh, although Android is right on its heels, and uh, Microsoft is still uh, certainly a popular platform, as is RIM. So the, this is important because as we look at the idea of, of leveraging smartphones for everyone's uh, for, for market research, we need to make sure that we're looking at a platform that allows us to cross multiple operating systems rather than just focusing on one. Now, What's interesting about the smartphones is that it's allowed us to uh, have the app revolution. And of course, one of the major drivers of apps has been gaming. Um, I think gaming and apps are the new frontier for market research. Uh, Nielsen, a recent uh, survey of Nielsen said 73% engage in social media at least once per week. Uh, that looks at 127 million people in the US that are engaged in social media. 32.7 million of those folks play social games daily. Uh, of course, the leading ones are the Zenga games. More than 75 million people a month play Farmville. Uh, and of course, Cityville, which is uh, their new title, in 43 days skyrocketed to 100 million users. Uh, they're the leading component of the social app explosion. And then we're looking at new organizations like Foursquare, Yelp, and Get Glue that combine gaming elements and engage millions of members daily across multiple sites. <laughs> Excuse me, those are primarily mobile device based uh, app plugins. Uh, they are very much focused on game play. Uh, they generally involve consumer ratings to some degree, so we're already seeing companies that don't consider themselves research organizations that are actually uh, conditioning consumers to uh, give ratings, give feedback via their, uh, their mobile devices. Uh, Morgan Stanley predicts that mobile devices will be the primary web interface within five years. Uh, I give it three. Uh, I, I don't think that we're going to have to wait that long. There's two ways that market research can use gaming models, either the engagement or the interface. We're using a social game and engagement optimization model. Uh, it incorporates eight key elements that we primarily learned from Zenga, uh, the masters of the trade. Reward users for returning in a short time period. Reward them for helping friends every day, meaning sharing. Allow users to create without typing, meaning graphical interfaces. Show progress everywhere, everything. Make users feel lonely without friends. Uh, if they get friends on, they'll stay longer. That's where the social aspect comes in. Enable self-expression. Offer increasing levels of complexity for mastery. Of course, we're, we're good at making complex surveys and, and ways to engage respondents that way and have surprises for limited time events. Now, this is pretty radical thinking for research. It's not the way we tend to think about engagement. Uh, but these are tried and true methods now based upon social gaming that we are utilizing in our process. What we've done is, is taken these best elements and put them together. Uh, first, we've engaged with web portal partners to uh, have their members, visitors, download our mobile app. Uh, we're effectively building a global mobile community for research. Uh, members are encouraged to promote the community to their contacts. Uh, we, we want people to share. And uh, so by engaging with other websites and other web portals across the, the entire web ecosystem, uh, we started building that community process. Uh, from a, a research standpoint, it's 
pretty straightforward. We ask consumers to rate their brand perception, awareness, and experience, or to participate in other research projects. Uh, they receive surveys via location-based services, push notifications, or when they check in. Uh, they can also share their surveys with friends. Uh, each time they participate, they earn rewards. Those rewards are used to download more apps, uh, media content such as songs or videos, or for Amazon purchases. And then the game element really comes in because members also earn badges that can be carried across all social networks and websites based on their participation, their level of sharing with others, and their frequency of engagement. Uh, badges promote their online reputation and influence, their interest and brand affinity. The more badges they earn, the more additional offers they receive from brands they're loyal to. Yes, I did say that. We are actually opening up the door. Uh, if somebody is a dedicated Starbucks loyalist, and we know that from their uh, their survey participation, we see no reason why they should not receive uh, an offer from Starbucks to reward their loyalty. So we are definitely bridging the gap between marketing and market research. Uh, it all starts with the community. Uh, I, I don't think anybody would argue the point that communities and social media are certainly emerging as the best means of engaging today's consumers. Uh, gaming is a key element of social engagement. Uh, as we talked about uh, before, gaming is driven by three factors. Uh, entertainment, we want to make it fun. Social, esteemed by peers and competition. That's where badges and, and, uh, and other aspects like that come in. And rewards, financial incentives for playing. Uh, we are partnering with leading web portals. Uh, we provide a revenue share model. That's why they want to work with us. And then we engage consumers via the gaming model to participate in the research process. Now, part of that is not just migrating the web paradigm to mobile. Uh, we try and make it graphically rich uh, and inter interactive from an interface standpoint. Of course, badges are, are something new for anybody who's engaged in research in the past. Uh, and we want to deliver real-world rewards for participation. So although they do earn points, those points accrue very quickly for them to download apps. Uh, if anybody plays Angry Birds and you've seen the recent app for the Eagle Eye uh, that costs 99 cents, you'd be shocked how many people will engage in a survey to be able to download that 99 cent Eagle Eye so they can kill those darn pigs. Let's talk about badges for a minute. Um, badges are really social status on parade. Um, and there's a few different models on why badges are important. Uh, the value for consumers are that uh, users build their reputation. The badge shows that, hey, I did this, I'm part of a group, I engaged, I competed, I won. Uh, it's an incentive to participate in and of itself. Uh, we create value instantly for the user through their participation, they get their badge. Uh, that social uh, competitive aspect is instantly satiated. Uh, they get to share their latest badges. Uh, across the social ecosystem uh, with you know, Facebook, Twitter, whatever the case may be. Uh, by our partnering with Badge Farm, we actually have made that one place to keep rewards and badges. So that's something new and unique that uh, uh, allows us to standardize the badge process across all of our participants' uh, social activities. Uh, and of course, the badges allow us to uh, help the consumers redeem their points with brands to get rewards from them uh, and uh, enhance the loyalty process uh, directly between the consumer and the brand themselves. The value for brands are uh, that it is a drop-in user reputation um, across the web ecosystem so brands get to see uh, what consumers are doing and what they like uh, by their own admission. You're putting out there for everybody to see. Um, it is a standard process for badges and rewards so uh, there's you don't have to deal with 10 different uh, organizations that are trying to, uh, to manage this. Uh, it allows us to define new rewards easily. Uh, it does provide some levels of social analytics. Uh, it's a new way to engage with, uh, uh, with customers, members, and fans. It's something that's new and fun. Uh, and it produces a wealth of profile and segment information that generally is not available. So rather than asking questions on um, uh, past behavior, the badges actually demonstrate a lot of that data in and of themselves. And then the meat of what we're doing is the Brand Scan 360 daily rating. Um, uh, the gist is that our community members provide uh, daily ratings of their interactions with monitored brands via a simple and short survey. Uh, we're monitoring key drivers of brand awareness, selection, and satisfaction. It's on demand. Uh, brands license access to our system, and they develop their own real-time and ongoing brand tracking. Uh, so the data is collected and mapped down uh, to the local level via LBS, location-based services. Uh, 
we deal with full ratings based on customer interactions with all brand touch points. We're measuring satisfaction of brand perception on a national level every single day. Uh, and for brands, the, the importance of this is to get advanced warning of store and local level issues before they impact sales. We get to engage customers as brand evangelists, uh, reward consumers with apps and social standing, uh, and most importantly, understand how brands are competing in real time. So that's the, the research meat of uh, what we're doing and how we're trying to engage consumers and build uh, uh, a gaming model into the research process. Uh, we think apps are the new currency. Uh, as we were talking about a few minutes ago, uh, people that are paying 99 cents to download uh, this eagle eye so they can kill those pigs and angry birds. That, that's huge. Whoever came up with that is sitting on a lot of money right this moment. Um, as smartphones become the norm, apps become the primary interface between users and brands. Uh, they're, they're in demand. They're word of mouth driven. Um, uh, consumers earn points for participation in research, which allows them to uh, get access to paid apps and songs. And it's an instant gratification incentive. So as soon as they unlock those points, they get to go on to the app store and download whatever they'd like. And that's it. So any questions? Happy to, uh, to discuss what we're doing and some other ideas on how to uh, build game theory into the engagement process for research.